Magenta Canada and CNM Seeds present the Wheat School on RealAgriculture.com. All right, we're doing a drill setting and calibration clinic here today. And you're probably wondering why in the world we're, we're sitting or kneeling here behind a combine. Well, in many examples, I think no-till really starts or ends right here with the combine. Okay, why do I say that? Here we are in a field, uh, it was harvested two, three months ago, In this field was in canola, canola after corn actually. And in this particular field, the distribution characteristics of the residue were not very good. For example, look at the canola residue here. We got quite a bit of canola residue here on the ground in this area, quite a lot. It's going to be a challenge to try and seed through this. Compared to just, what, three feet over here, here, for example, very little residue apart from a few corn stalks that remain from last year and a few stems from the canola crop. So why is this poor distribution an issue? Well, if you've got a lot of residue here on top of the ground, you'll find that the soil temperature is probably somewhere between 5 and 10 Fahrenheit cooler under the residue when measured in the spring compared to bare soil. So number one issue with poor residue distribution is the differential soil temperature with bare ground with residue covered ground. The second challenge is there's a lot of nutrition contained in a lot of these crop residues, especially canola, especially wheat residue, especially canola residue. So you've got a lot of nutrition contained within the residue so it's important to distribute it. The last issue or challenge certainly is getting the seed in the ground, getting residue flow through the seeding equipment. And in this example, if this residue is damp, the soil surface is damp. If the residue is damp and the soil surface is damp, with a disc seeder, which is generally what I promote in most no-till systems, it tends to hairpin. You tend to get a lot of hairpinning with damp residue on top of damp soil. Compared to over here, where there's no residue, it's pretty easy to seed into. So to get the kind of emergence uniformity that you need for high yields, growers have got to do a better job spreading residue, and it begins right here at the combine. I don't want to see guys tilling, I don't want to see guys harrowing. In my opinion, this is the problem that needs to be solved. Okay, following on with residue distribution, here is a small example, but it shows quite clearly some of the challenges that we can have at seeding time that are introduced by residue distribution or the lack of it. This is actually volunteer wheat in this area. In fact, this field was wheat last year. The straw was actually baled for livestock purposes, and this band somewhere in here basically was a lot of the chaff that fell through the, obviously the combine wasn't spreading residue, spreading chaff in this example, so we got a, an abundance of chaff, then we got some volunteer wheat growing through the chaff, and we seeded through it, actually with the Great Plains, with no-till cultures just a little while ago, and we're really struggling here to get seeds into the ground through residue. In fact, right here, there are actually seeds on top of the ground, treated seeds on top of the ground that we couldn't place through residue. So obviously residue distribution is really important, but chaff distribution is really important also. I've seen university research, not picking on those guys, but I've seen university research in the US that says you've got to distribute residue over 50 or 60% of the working width of your header. That's not right. You need to get residue over 90% or more. And there's a lot of little things that you can do to your combine and your chopper and your, or your spreaders, working with wind speeds and direction, harvesting on the downwind side. There's a lot of things that you can do, but the bottom line is, if you want uniform emergence with wheat or other crops, which is obviously a goal, you've got to do a better job spreading residue and chaff, otherwise you're going to get shallow seeds, hair pinning, cooler soils, slower emergence, and that's just not ideal for high yields.